let's take a look at a way to use a template to test for curb openings or driveway openings or barrier curb. So here's the situation. We have driveways along our uh, reconstruction project here. If we do hit a driveway opening, we want to use a multiple curb and then tie into a saw cut line. If we don't have a driveway opening, we want the barrier curb and a simple cut and fill. And this is uh, very simplified, but it will give you the concept of what we're doing. Now to start with, what we have here are these curb openings and match lines or saw cut lines have been defined. And these can be defined a number of ways through inroads. You can draw features, like much like you draw a microstation line. So we can target those features. You can also take a line, drape it on the surface, create a feature out of it, and do partial deletes on that. So you can have either individual features, uniquely named, or one continuous feature with discontinuities in it. So you can decide how you want to target uh, these elements. But basically, it's a DTM feature laying on top of the surface at a predetermined match location. So let's take a look at that. So let's get to our inroads commands here. And uh, we'll get um, start with the template, take a look at how the template is constructed. And again, we have the two sections. We have the uh, mountable curb, and eventually we want to tie into that um, saw cut or match line. And then we also have the barrier curb. So those are the, the foundations for the template that we're um, going to use. And I've already built this. I'm not going to take you through all those steps. But we do have an end condition here, and it's called a conditional curb. And you can see those two solutions in here. And what we have are both of those um, curb sections are in here. So we have the mountable curb with an end condition solution that's going to tie to that match point. And we have the barrier curb that's also going to do cuts and fills. We want this mountable curb to be the first solution tested. So what we've done is we've taken an end condition, created this end condition, and said we are going to target not a surface as um, you know, you normally you would see, but we're going to look for a style, a feature style, and the XYZ, so the defined location of it. Now all those features that I was showing you up in the plan view are features and they all share a style, and that style happens to be this roadway um, uh, driveway match to the right, and there's a unique one to the match to the left, so we can model uh, uniquely on both the right and side right and left side of the, ro the uh, roadway design. So that's what we're doing. We're really not looking for an individual feature name. We could do that, but this makes it much simpler. We're just looking for a style that's assigned to all those match lines. So that's the test. So that's our end condition. It's going to look for that. Um, we really don't have um, you know, any constraints really going on here. We're not going to use this style constraint. Let me take that off. I'm just going to check for intersection and place a point at that intersection if it finds it. Now the other thing that's going on here is this curb section, we have designed a parent component to it. And the hierarchy is if the parent's not displayed, the child won't display. And what we've done is this curb and gutter driveway section that's highlighted here. All we did is said the parent component happens to be this component out here, which is called the driveway. Therefore, if this doesn't display, this won't. So we've got that going on, and that's going to be our first priority. As you can see in the flyout, we're testing for that first. Now, if that fails, it doesn't find that saw cut line, we wanted to put this mountable curb in there. So we've done the same thing here. We've got this mountable curb, this curb and gutter section. We have very simple either a cut or a fill solution here. But to both of these, the uh, uh, parent component is this curb and gutter which is the barrier back to here. So therefore, if this doesn't, if neither of these end conditions um, succeed, the barrier curb won't display. So let's take a t look at that uh, in the test scenario, how that would look. So if I take a look at the template here, go ahead and do a test on We can see uh, kind of there's a little dashed outline here. Um, and we have the two tests here. So if we are looking for a particular feature style, and I do draw, you can see that this curb and gutter section is showing up here, plus my um, tie to that saw cut. So that saw cut in this case needs to be at a specific XYZ so it can tie into it exactly. And if that fails, what we wanted to do then is go look for the surface. So we would either get our cuts or fills. And you can see that the uh, curb section is not there. 
Now you'll notice when we uh, tested for this Cumberland gutter here, if we have the socket line, there's nothing in that first test that tells this curb and gutter not to display. So we're going to do a real simple display rule to add. And we're going to add that to this section. And basically the rule is going to say if this curb and gutter, the mountable curb and gutter displays, which is our first um, test, right? It's our highest priority. I do not want this to display. Consequently, these cuts and fills won't happen. So if I go edit that segment, we can show you the display rule that's put on there. And I'm simply double clicked on that barrier curb. If I go to edit, I've already made a display rule here. It's just very simple. And all I did was come down here and did add. And it basically created a rule. I'm not going to recreate it here, but the rule says if the mountable curb creates and the test here is simply component is displayed. So basically, is that mountable curb displayed yes or no? So I'm just going to come up here with not and say if it's not displayed, I want to use this rule. So the selected rule. And I'm going to OK and apply to add that display rule onto that curb and cutter. And you can see that's not displayed anymore. If this is displayed, the mountable isn't. If in my uh, preview here, in my template, I turn on display all components, I can see that still exists back there, but it's going to display on the condition that this one doesn't display. So if we go back into test here and uh, go to the, um, uh, the driveway match test, you can see how the barrier curb is going to display. And if I test for the surface, you can see how the, the end conditions um, will create off the back of the curb. So I've got scenario A and this is scenario B. So let's put that into play with our template or see how that comes into play. This has already been built and applied to a uh, template and a corridor that's already created so we can simply close out of here. Don't really need to save anything but I'm going to go into roadway designer here and show you how that comes into pro play. So we have that particular template on the end conditions here. Up in plan view I have displayed our reference line our uh, exterior boundary of our existing ground DTM and those saw cut match lines are displayed up here as references as well. So as we model you can see that we get the cuts and fills off the barrier curb but we start getting up in a section where it finds that target, that style, that XYZ for that saw cut line. You can see that we get the mountable curb on the right side. So that's just a simple way that you can create a template that will either create barrier curb or multiple curb depending on the test conditions and seeking for a feature XYZ. Thank you for watching.